Welcome back to Philippines Uncut. I'm Buddy Kunanan and tonight's topic is uh, Ghost Protocol Paranormal Investigations Part 2. <laughs> and still joining us are Eric Asuncion and Nick Nangit. Thank you, okay, buddy. so guys, in the, past, uh, in, in the past segment, in the last segment, we talked about uh, you know, the origins of questing, right. the nature and mm -hmm. process of uh, yes. questing, mm -hmm. okay. the difference between human beings and non-human mm -hmm. be uh, beings, and uh, things about, uh, you know, like... Uh, the other side, basically. Okay. Now, let's talk about your personal experiences as uh, spirit questers. I'm sure you oh, guys have sure. a lot. Chocolate block <laughs> yes. of stories. You know, there are about, there are already about every <laughs> Halloween. Yeah, or yes. <laughs> there, there are more than 2,000 quests that we have had. I mean, as a group, from its group. inception mm -hmm. to, to, to 2010. Yeah. Uh, well, in my case, one, one peculiar experience that I had was a suicide case. All right. um, a girl committed suicide. She was... Uh, I think six or seven years old, uh, yeah, something like that. Uh, apparently, she committed suicide because her father was raping her, oh and wow. her mom was an overseas Filipino worker. All right. She also has a sister. All right. Now, after uh, the father was already put to jail, so the mother was trying to sell the mansion. It was a mansion. All right, but couldn't sell the mansion. For some reason, they couldn't sell the property. So what happened was. W they had a quest held in that house, and we found out that this female, th this this girl, um, wanted to convey a message. She she has died about six years ago, okay. but uh, for her concept of time, she it's like she just died now. All right. So for the other side, I mean the yeah. spirit world, they have the no, no concept, concept of time. time. It's a different concept. So it's it not could, it could have been fifty years, hundred yes, years, yes, unlike yes. us. Then right, oh. right. So her message was for the mother to forgive the father because the concept of justice for the dead is different from our concept of justice. They're already, um, you know, uh, apart from the physical yes. world, they're, they're the true. necessities are it's not it's important. no longer there. Yes, not, not yeah. there anymore. So she wants the mother to forget, uh, to forgive the father okay. and for the mother not to forget her other daughter. You know, at that time, I was in between the mother and the sister. <laughs> So good luck to me, yes, <laughs> you know, yes. as an empath. <laughs> How did you come across this case, Nick? Uh, well, because we, we used to have a website, the Spirit Questers, and there's a, there's a cell phone number there. And, you know, agents just keep on calling for schedules, and we hold our quests on Saturday evenings. But, okay, why did the agent in this case, the, the, the family yes. here, ask for us? Yes, our help. Why was, was there yes. a problem? That yes, that because she wanted to sell the property. She wanted to yeah. move abroad, bring her her yeah. daughter with yeah. her but she couldn't sell the property for some unknown reason because the reason there was that her daughter the one who committed suicide wanted the mother to forgive the father no, but but did uh, yeah. i mean how did she tie up her inability to sell the property with some sort of unresolved issue with her ah, deceased yes, daughter because how did she she, yeah because there are there are people from the neighborhood who could see the the somebody living there a, a, a child running something like that so there right. was some sort of physical yes there there were there were apparition there were. or yes. manifestation right. there was a, i mean right. a haunting and even noises yes a and haunting yeah. yes, so yes. Th so that's actually what brought them to yeah. seek you guys to seek, out yes right that's true that's because, true uh, but the message is really uncanny because you see the only thing that the, that the daughter wanted was for the mother to forgive the father and to not to forget the other daughter. Did the family have any idea that it was the daughter who was doing no. this? That, that, no. that she no, no. had uh, those issues? No, no. Or that she had that message? No, no. No, no inkling whatsoever? In fact, the, fam the mother didn't even tell us about the daughter committing suicide. We found it for ourselves. How? Well, we went to the place. We, we were able to see the daughter. And we describe the daughter. We don't know if she's related, but we feel she's related and she's giving signs. You saw, you guys saw the daughter? Yes, yes. H how did you, like a physical form? Physical form. You, you actually saw? I, I not only saw her, but she, she, I entered into her shoes at the time of death. At the exact time of what death. What did she, she look like? I mean, uh, she, how she, does one see a spirit? Like you actually saw a figure of yeah. uh, the, the spirit that, yeah. in dark like that? Yeah, it's more of like a silhouette, like this glass of water. I could see somebody there, but th I could also see what's behind that person. Wow. So I know that's a, that's, a dead, that's a dead spirit. Others could see her also. And she was talking to the group? Yes, yeah, and she was talking to the group, but at that time she went behind me. And that was the time that I was channeling her thoughts, her feelings. Mm, okay, I told okay. some things that only her mother and her sister knew. Mm -hmm. So that was the time that I, that, you know, I was channeling her already. And you know that that is a hell of a lot of proof right there. This right. thing actually exists because right. for you to have known 
without yes. the agent mm -hmm. telling, telling you us. about the background yes. of the case. That's what we do. We don't. We ask the agent not to tell us, mm -hmm. to confirm, mm -hmm. yeah, so that we we are not fraudulent, so that the, the person knows that we are true. So what happened? Um, you after convey that, this message. Yeah. To yeah after conveying the that, mom. and the mother, it was very hard for the mother to accept that. Mm -hmm. But yes. after she had accepted it, she said, "Yes, tomorrow I'm going to go to the jail and talk to your father, forgive him." At that moment, this little girl. Uh, moved to the light, the ceiling, and so she's happy. And her form changed. What do you mean? I mean, uh, she looks better, more rosy cheeks, happy, <laughs> more happy. Because uh, initially it was very heavy mm. as an empath, mm -hmm. very heavy mm -hmm. feelings. Mm -hmm. I, I I remember always carrying a box of uh, tissues, tissues because yeah. I always uh, cry. Wow! Because I mean, the emotions it, of the it dead affects you. Yes, I mean, yes. That's why we as are a drained. Medium. Yes. It affects you that much. That so much, yes. That uh, it actually yes. uh, emotionally you were brought to tears. And right, all that. right. And not only that, we do get sick. Wow. We do get sometimes, sick sometimes. Yeah. Sometimes. Well, like the flu. Yes. Or uh, sometimes you, you just fall ill because yes. for no why? reason. I mean, because the, the we have absorbed the negative the energies, mm. and we give up something to help them. Mm. We give up something, mm. our health, mm. wow. to help these. No, no, I'm sure for you to engage in this kind of work. It takes a lot of energy, a lot of strength. <laughs> yes. I mean, just to get, That's you know, true. Just, yes. I can, I mean, I've never done it, and I don't think I want to do it. But <laughs> because there's a big responsibility to yeah. it. But no, no, it's, it's definitely a lot of energy, emotional, yes, a lot. mental, yes. physical. And that's why we are, we are supposed to be um, financially okay. We should not carry our emotional baggage when we do the quest mm. to mm. be able to help others. If so, we are not ready for that, we cannot, right? So everything worked out for this family. I yes. Mean, uh, the, right. and, and, and the mom found peace, made peace with the father, yes. and, the, and the little girl moved to the light. Yes. Oh. How about you, Eric? What, okay. What's your story? Okay. Mine is the most significant, well, one of the most significant um, quests that I encountered or I was involved in was there was this um, missing person. The Asian contacted us because the partner was missing okay. and she wanted to find out if the partner was still here or alive or not so initially we don't really um how do you call this handle or approve such cases why not um let's put it this way it's kind of hard to actually pinpoint things mm. for example like if it's a murder mm. okay um it would be hard to like we would know who killed, yes, yes. but then we would not, you know, if we tell that person, or if we tell the Asian, okay, that person killed, Very it wouldn't hold in water. Like, yes. It would hold water yes, in court, yes. second. And besides, what's the assurance that that person will not get back to us or at us? Very, yeah. you know, yeah. dangerous ground. But we but can only give clues. Yeah, we can give clues, okay. yes. So anyway, going back mm -hmm. to that particular um, quest. So it was from... It was from down south, okay, so the partner flew here, stayed in one of the hotels here, okay, and during the quest itself, so we all, we formed a circle. We were holding hands like this, then suddenly we were all moving in one direction. We felt it was like an earthquake, so we were at the midst of like, what, should we stop this? We were all looking I at I mean, like your bodies were moving? We were moving I all mean, at the same uh, time. Literally. And no one, it, it wasn't something that you guys were doing. It was no. Something was moving you yes. around. You could feel, I mean, we could you feel could feel it. someone swaying you around? Like yes. That, like Initially, hand. it was like, it was like an earthquake. Yeah. You start like that. But yeah. it becomes stronger and stronger. Yeah. That's the time that we, okay, should we still continue or not? We were like looking at each Maybe other. Maybe it was an earthquake. <laughs> no, <laughs> because but, of course, <laughs> but, we, but we checked, there was a chandelier nearby, it wasn't moving, that's the first thing. Second, we were seated right beside this table, on top of the table wow. were teacups, they were not moving at all. So how can it be that we were all moving at the same direction, mm -hmm. it becomes stronger and stronger, but there's no proof of an earthquake. Mm -hmm. And afterwards, when the quest was done, we actually asked the people, like we ordered for room service, we asked the waiter, Boss, Lumindulba. Lumindulba? Sir, hindi ko umuulan lang. Okay, so that was it. Then we asked other people if they felt something, you know, who, who were outside the quest. No, what was the explanation nothing. for the movement? Uh, it was because of the, um, uh, the a spirit that wasn't at peace? I mean, um, or, uh, okay. what was causing it? Okay, um, the, the spirit that we, the missing person was already uh, dead. Was already dead. Okay, 
and apparently the body was stuffed inside a metal container and thrown into the sea. Hence the movement. Yes. So we were we were uh, mimicking the state the of state. the dead at mm -hmm. that moment. Mm -hmm. But you had no contact no. with this. Uh, I mean, with the dead person. I mean, there was no clue as to what happened to her. I mean, you only found out that, that about what happened to her after. Yes. So during the quest, nothing. Nothing. No, no communication only, with her. Nothing yeah. at all. Just the only thing movement. that we knew was that it was that person was missing. Okay. And the last time that the person was seen was in a suburban area, and that was it. Did you guys have a premonition that perhaps something bad had? Had happened to her when, when you had during the well yes. during the quest itself we were able to get clues okay. that something that you know that um, that the age or rather the the partner was not here in this plane anymore had already moved on why is that how come in other quests I mean it's very clear let's say in your case the little girl actually you know you saw her and yes. she actually conveyed a message why yeah. is it in this case of the partner who was mm -hmm. killed and okay. stuck in the drum and okay. sunk in, in, in the bay. Mm -hmm. How come there was no, no message, Con yeah. no... Yeah. It, there's no consistency, yes. right? How come? Yeah. Because we all, uh, as I mentioned, we all have psychic abilities mm -hmm. and our psychic abilities uh, vary depending on its level of development. So some of us are more psychically mm -hmm. open than others. Mm -hmm. And some of us are psychically open not all the time. Yeah. Sometimes we're open just intermittently or at certain times of the year. We are most prone to having our third eye open when we are sick or when we are, um, uh, you know, that, that <coughs> state of uh, uh, half awake, half asleep. You see, when we, sud when we wake up in the morning and then suddenly we feel, so I think somebody was here and then nobody was there. Or it's like yeah. when we were falling asleep, right. yeah. halfway, halfway between falling that? asleep and... I mean, what is that? Alpha. Uh, alpha that's the alpha state. The, the, that's the, the alpha state, state you're talking about. Yes, mm -hmm. the alpha state. So in our case, it's, it's just that we are so, the, the members of the quest, the, the questors who were there during that quest circle, are open in the sense that they could really see, they could talk. But in their case, it was more of the, the feeling, the sense of feeling, the psychic feeling, was the, the one that's so attuned. That's why they could all feel the movement, the movement at sea. Of, of the waves yes. and may, maybe and rocking the drum right. about. And so it's so hard for the dead to communicate. Probably that person is in a barrel, a container. Difficult to communicate because nobody can hear. So the best way is just to move. So yeah. that form of action is the one that is uh, mm -hmm. communicated to the spirit questors. Mm -hmm. Now, let, let's say a uh, case about ordinary people yes. who have had extraordinary experiences in their ah, homes. Yeah. Do you, have, do you yes. have any experience with that? Right. that uh, maybe like a family a, who... Moving to a new house. Yes. Yeah, I, I've had that experience. A family mm -hmm. moved to a new okay. house. A new house. Brand new house. Yes, yes. Okay. Um, <coughs> uh, moved to a... Well, let's say it's a, a condominium. Okay, a build, okay. Uh, it's build. a building. Okay. Um, so the family bought a unit and wanted to stay in that house. But apparently, you know, they, they could see things or the maids who were there tasked to clean the place could see movements or he hear sounds. So we checked the place and we found out that it has something to do with the elementals who are residing way below the ground where that building was constructed. So the elementals, they are earth spirits. Um, the, the, the place that they were, the, the, their abode, abode okay, was desecrated. Yeah. So that's why they want now to be recognized for that. Mm -hmm. So when we held that quest, I literally went down under the earth mm -hmm. and we met there, the mm -hmm. other questors. Yeah. To the basement. To the below the basement. Below the basement yeah. yeah, and it was funny because one questor left me alone. That's why I said, how come I saw you and then you left me? He said, no, kaya mo na yan. You can do that all by yourself. But, but, so I could okay. Did everyone in that building have the same experience? No, no, because no, 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 not all, not, not all. Why is that? I mean, if well, it's a ground, then should yeah. they be in all So the many units? reasons. One is probably the others are, v are, are not open psych psychically. So or probably they're just quiet, they dismiss it. But it's, it so happened that the family moving in here is into these things. They, they are into feng shui, they're into all this paranormal oh, stuff. Mm, okay. That's why they're more open. And, and, and they have maids who are from the province who are also open. And they were noticing all sorts of weird things happening. Yes, and that's weird things they, they could hear, yeah. they could see. So that, those things. Was it resolved? Yes, because uh, apparently we, the earth elementals, um, they, they look like uh, oblong, uh, oblong shape, and they're grisly. They're they're full of fur. Uh, they just wanted an offering, a gift. 
something like uh, shiny objects or rice or tobacco, okay. and that would appease them. And we asked the family to to create a uh, a mini garden on the, uh, outside their their condominium unit okay, okay. Um, to let you know these these uh, earth elementals be able to visit them and not bother them. Right. And after they did that, they 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 put the offering, the little yes. garden. Right. Mm -hmm. It it was stopped. okay. Yes, it, it stopped. stopped completely. It stopped already. Because uh, no, it's 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 um, it's it's you know different techniques to deal with things like yeah, this. Right. Like uh, if they had approached the priest, the priest would just say, <laughs> just uh, pray. Catholic, no, "No offense, the Catholic yeah, Church yeah, would have said, okay, yeah. magdasal yeah, tayo, just yeah, continue yeah. praying.' But yeah. then the problem doesn't go away because yes. the the solution is, as you said, yes. something. You see, we believe that different. there's so much knowledge that has been concealed from us today, and not everything that we that is presented to us is true or real. We s we're just fortunate enough that we are have access to this kind of uh, knowledge, and we have had these experiences. Let's talk now about dreams. Okay. You know, dreams yes. is uh, you know, dreams have always been. Yes. People have believed that dreams have been mm -hmm. connected to the, the other world. That that uh, the mm -hmm. other the other side. Uh, some people believe that the other side uses dreams yes. to okay. convey messages. Yes. To the yes. Dreams. Is that is that real? Yes. Yes. yes, that's real. Because let's put it this way: when you when you sleep, you are in the alpha mode, or uh, alpha level rather which is essentially is the same plane as where they are mm -hmm. so it's much easier to communicate rather than you like let's say if you're in the lower level okay, if you let's say in the beta or whatever level you would have to go up to communicate with them or they would have to go down to communicate with you but if you're asleep you're essentially on the same plane so it's a lot easier for you for them mm -hmm. to communicate with you if they want to relay something to you let's define first alpha beta level what does this mean exactly Alpha is the relaxed state. Okay. Mm -hmm. So it's for it's relaxed yes. state, and beta is the when, when you're. Yeah. yeah. Now, now, how come for the spirit world it's really that relaxed? I mean, this is where the spirit world and the physical world yes. then meet in this yes. alpha level. Yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. yes. Okay. So um, uh, some people would say, like you know, if someone uh, has a deceased relative mm -hmm. or a family member and they dream about this person, mm -hmm. some people would say that maybe oh, it's just my 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 inner. My subconscious <laughs> manifesting yes. itself through mm, my right. dreams. Mm. What do you guys have to say about that? No, not necessarily. It, not necessarily. It depends. Um, for us, what we believe is, how recurring is it? If it recurs like more than five or six times, then it's something that you should be, um, I wouldn't say worry, but take note of it. Mm -hmm. But if it just happens once or twice, yeah, nothing true. really. D right. Don't need to panic. But if it happens, as I mentioned, five or six times or, or more, that's the, reason, that's the time that we have to you know, yeah. take note of it. Something is... Needs to be resolved. Yes. It's a problem. Yeah. Or there's a message that needs to be relayed yes. to you. Now, uh, you know, dreams are weird. Like sometimes uh, <laughs> <laughs> you know, the context is weird. Yes. The images are weird. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. How does one interpret a dream? Um, they're all symbolical. Mm -hmm. They're all symbolical. Why yeah. doesn't the dead person just come to us and dream and just give us a direct message? Like, hey. Yeah. Sometimes you know, they do that. Sometimes they that. do that. Yes. Like, uh, well, there are, there are some, the dead will tell them, take care of this property. Literally, mm -hmm. take care of this. So mm -hmm. that could happen also. Um, because during, <coughs> during your state of being asleep, your defenses are down. Mm -hmm. Okay. It's best, better to communicate with, with the dead. And even during our quests, uh, many of the dead uh, would rather talk to their to the living by way of uh, during their sleeping state. They prefer that because they know that the living are afraid. You know, imagine if the dead would just appear before <laughs> exactly. you and talk to you. Uh -huh. It doesn't exactly. freak you out, right? <laughs> exactly. Maybe you lose your mind. Or <laughs> yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah. And if you talk to that person, then your office mates or whoever sees you will, will say, so you're crazy because you're talking to, s to a blank wall or who's yeah. that person you're talking to, right? Like in The Sixth Sense, the movie. There's right. some truth to that. I mean, yes. I, I mean based on what you're saying, yes. That, uh, Those are very would, good movies, right? I mean, they they would actually talk when they were asleep. They'd be talking, right. and, and that's mm -hmm. when the, right. the, the the spirit would talk yes. to the person. Right. Actually, There's also this mm -hmm. film uh, recently, uh, a local film which I really like, The Road. Okay. Uh, mm -hmm. The Road. Yeah. Have you yeah. seen yeah. that? Yeah, it's a very good movie. It, it's it's actually one way by which the spirits do communicate. In one scene, the sister was talking to the other one. The audience would think that they are really talking to each other, but no. The sister, the, the living one, is actually telling her emotions and it's just an affirmation of what the dead was saying. So it's like that. Mm -hmm. So if you get the chance, you can watch that, that, mm -hmm. that film. What about Bangungot? What do you guys have to say about Bangungot? Nightmares. <laughs> <laughs> well, 
I mean, things. <laughs> <laughs> well, <laughs> some people who have been near Bangungot, or nearly, you know, okay. have gone almost you see, there. There's what we call okay. the alpha plane. Sometimes we, we do astral projection, knowingly or unknowingly. Mm -hmm. uh, when I was younger, I just saw myself, you know, I felt like I was freezing, I couldn't mm -hmm. move. And then suddenly I see myself outside my body on the ceiling, which was just near, but then I could see myself like thousands of miles away. It's a, like a speck of dust, but I could see myself. So there's still that thin line that connects me. I did not know it at that your, time. Your spirit, to your my energy, body, to, your to my body, physical yes. body. I did not know it uh, uh, until much later that I was already doing astral projection. So that could happen. Now, if you are not trained in doing that, there's that danger of that line being disconnected so it might cause your death. Or if you tend to linger in that state, then you can probably end up in a coma. Yeah. So it's dangerous also. So that's where the bagungot comes in. Sometimes you, you tend to, to probably go to an alpha state without you realizing it. And then you, you enjoy the, that, that uh, the state, view. the view, <laughs> because you then see the all experience. sorts of creatures, the, yeah. the experience. But you never go back. You don't go back. Yeah. So you could, that could be bangungot. Wow, OK. So it's, it could be partly also the physical, mm -hmm. because the Asians uh, eat rice, and it's, you know, a, a possible explanation for Bangungot. But not only Asians have that experience, even other other um, nationalities. nationalities have that experience. I don't think it has something to do with the... Like it's not really something that's like local to us. Yes. I think it's an international thing, but yeah. you know, it's just categorized differently. Yeah. Like for us, it's known as Bangungot, but for other countries, it might be known as something else. Yeah. But, yeah. but definitely one theory is that it's connected somehow to the astral yes. Yes. projection yes. of a person. Yes. Astral, astral travel. Astral, astral travel. travel. Maybe you don't know it yet, or maybe mm -hmm. you are practicing it. But it's dangerous, really. That's why some people have, who've experienced nearly becoming, you know, yes. some, having yeah. bangungot, yeah. some are jolted, like it's right. a jolt. Yeah. Right. Right. Th that's a common experience. And you know, the common feeling that you cannot move your body at yes. all. Y you want to move just a little finger, mm -hmm. yeah. you know, just to, to know that you're still alive because mm -hmm. you, you feel like you're trapped, you can't even move, right? And a lot of so people have had that experience. Yeah, there are people, people who, who just mm -hmm. pray. Well, it helps. If you pray, I did that that time. <laughs> I just prayed. Mm -hmm. It's scary. Yeah, I, I was so scary. scared. When I prayed, then suddenly I, I was able to move like mm -hmm. a toe and then that's it I snap back to reality uh, you know a lot of people have this ex have had this experience mm -hmm. yeah. so this is not uh, this is not uncommon yes mm -hmm. and uh, people just dismiss it as say, oh mm -hmm. I was just dreaming right. or something right. like that right. actually that experience of you like you can't really mm -hmm. move it's like your astral soul mm -hmm. it's like going back like fitting back into but you can't uh, yeah. seem to get in yet yeah. so that's why the, the inability to, to move yeah, yeah, it's like you're putting on your trousers. But right? also, <laughs> we will not dismiss the fact, the possibility that it could also be a, an incubus or a succubus trying to take possession uh, of your body. Well, that's right. Yeah. <laughs> well, could guys, also be <laughs> we've run out of time for okay. the show, but I'm definitely going to have you guys again. We're going to talk about tarot cards okay. and, uh, and crystals yes, and yeah, healing crystal. and also more okay. about dreams on the next show of Philippines. Sure. Thanks, sure. guys. For being Thank the you, show. buddy. Sure. Thank, Thank, you. Thank you. So guys, um, Thank you. again, uh, you know, one hour, 50, 55 minutes, one hour is not nearly enough to talk about all these topics, but don't worry, uh, we're going to have another follow-up <coughs> uh, show with these two gentlemen again to talk about the uh, more of dreams and bangungot, okay. dark cards, healing, and uh, a lot of more interesting stuff. So <laughs> I hope you enjoyed this uh, episode of Philippines Uncut, Ghost Protocol, Paranormal Investigations Part 2. I'm Buddy Kunanan. I'll see you next week. <laughs>
you know, at that time, I was in between the mother and the sister. <laughs> so, good luck to me, yes, <laughs> you know, yes. as an empath. <laughs> How did you come across this case, Nick? Uh, well, because we, we used to have a website, the Spirit Questers, and there's a, there's a cell phone number there. And, you know, agents just keep on calling for schedules, and we hold our quests on Saturday evenings. But, okay, why did the agent, in this case, the, the, the family yes. here, ask for us, yes, our help. why was, was there yes. a problem? That, yes, that because she wanted to sell the property, she wanted to yeah. move abroad, bring her, her yeah. daughter with yeah. her, but she couldn't sell the property for some unknown reason. Because the reason there was that her daughter, the one who committed suicide, wanted the mother to forgive the father. No, but, but did, uh, yeah. I mean, how did she tie up her inability to sell the property with some sort of unresolved issue with her ah, deceased yes, daughter. Because How did she yeah, because there are, there are people from the neighborhood who could see the, the somebody living there, a, a, a child running, something like that. So there uh, was some sort of physical... Yes, there, there, there was. Welcome back to Philippines Uncut. I'm Buddy Kunanan and tonight's topic is uh, Ghost Protocol Paranormal Investigations Part 2. <laughs> and still joining us are Eric Asuncion and Nick Nangit. Thank okay, you, so guys, in the past, uh, in, in the past segment, in the last segment, we talked about uh, you know the origins of questing, right. the nature and mm -hmm. process of uh, yes. questing, mm -hmm. okay. the difference between human beings and non-human mm -hmm. be uh, beings, and uh, things about uh, you know like uh, the other side, basically. Okay. Now let's talk about your personal experiences as uh, spirit questers. I'm sure you guys oh, have sure. a lot. Chocolate block <laughs> yes. of stories. You know, there are about, there are already about every <laughs> Halloween. Yeah. Or <laughs> there, are, there are more than 2,000 quests that we have had, I mean, as a group, from a group. its inception mm -hmm. to, to, to 2010. Yeah. Uh, well, in my case, one, one peculiar experience that I had was a suicide case. All right? um, a girl committed suicide. She was, uh, I think, six or seven years old. Yeah, something like that. Uh, apparently, she committed suicide because her father was raping her. Oh, and wow. her mom was an overseas Filipino worker. All right. She also has a sister. All right. Now, after the father was already put to jail, so the mother was trying to sell the mansion. It was a mansion, all right, but couldn't sell the mansion. For some reason, they couldn't sell the property. So what happened was w they had a quest held in that house. And we found out that this female, this, this girl, um, wanted to convey a message. She, she has died about six years ago.